Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about legacy. We're gonna be doing a walkthrough of this legacy hack the box machine. So as you see here on my screen, I already got it spinned up and everything with the IP address of 10.129.181.93. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead, uh, I wanna be using Terminator for my, uh, my shell. So first things first, I'm always gonna do an Nmap scan for my for my box. But before we do that, actually, let me get into the box. I mean, to the directory where I want to put everything. And let me see if I do have a legacy. I don't have a legacy directory, so let's just do NKDIR, and I want to put legacy. Okay. And let's CD into legacy. Okay, there should be nothing in there, perfect. So now what I wanna do is go ahead and just run an nmap. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out a few of these and I wanna put legacy on here, legacy.txt, that's fine for me. I'm just gonna put those, the output there and then my IP address is 10.129.181.93. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing. Normally I'll try to ping the IP address just to make sure that it's reachable. Let me do that. It is reachable, perfect. All right, so we'll let that do its thing. We'll give that a moment. And then we should see what the results are that it spits back out at us. Let's just bring this a little, little over to the right so we get some more real estate. This legacy uh, box, if I remember correctly, it's like an older eternal blue uh, vulnerability that is, that's running, I think, Windows XP or something like that. It's been a while since I did this box, and I may even have to submit the, uh, I may have not even done it on this account of mine. So I think this is when I, when I had my old account, but we'll see. We'll give this a few minutes to scan. <coughs> so, all right, perfect. So these are the scan results that we get back. So we have 129, uh, 139, 445, 3389, which is RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, but that's closed. So let's focus on the two open ports that we have here, and that's 139 and 445. Those are open, and these are SMB services that are running over them, okay? So what we can do now, we can just check out what we have here. And we can also do a Nmap scan against the vulnerability with the vulnerability uh, scan. But before we do that, what I want to do really quick, I want to, I may not even do that because that may not. I want to do a search exploit real quick. And then for eternal blue, let's see if there's anything out there that we can get. Okay. So we can see that there's a few exploit titles out there. We can also go on uh, on the interwebs at exploit.db. We can also see what's going on out there, but we know with this search exploit, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, <coughs> pretty accurate because this is an older exploit. So let's just open up MSF console. All right, so with MSF console, I want to go ahead and search out Eternal Blue again and see if we can use the MS17 underscore 010 exploit, okay? Okay, so we have this fancy thing. Let's just click clear so we can start from the top. All right, so let's do search Eternal Blue. Okay, so we have some things going on here. We can just move this over to the right a little bit more so we have some real estate. So this first one, we have an exploit windows, SMB MS 17 underscore 010 underscore eternal blue. And it seems like it's, you know, from 2017, which is about five years ago now, almost. And the rank is average and has been checked in the description 
we have the description there. All right, so we can use zero. And when we use zero, we can see that it goes into the exploit. Now we can do show options really quick. So we can see the options that we have here. Okay, so with the options we have, <coughs> excuse me, let me see something. Yeah, we should be okay here. I wonder, we'll give this a try. You know what? Let me, I'm going to try something else really quick. I just want to exit, go back. Okay, let's, whoops. Let's go ahead and switch foot. I'm, I want to see if we can use this exploit PS exec. Let me just use one. I just want to try that out really quick. Let's clear that out. And the, let's do show options. Okay. Let's go up a little bit. And then to show the options, we can see the exploit. Okay, perfect. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to set the R host. And my R host is 10.129.181. .93. Okay, and then I want to set up my L host, which I don't know off the top of my head. Let's do an if config tunnel zero. Let's move this over just a tiny bit so we can get this. Okay, so copy that and move this over here. And I want to set the L host. Paste that bad boy there. Okay. And let's do show options. And it looks like everything should be good. Now let's try to exploit this bad boy really quick and see if we can get any uh, get any, any action. All right. While that does, I want to take a sip of water. All right, looks like we have a session. So let's get UID. Whoops, I didn't need to do a space. Get UID. All right, so we are in as system. So this is pretty much the highest privilege in a Windows user, as you guys know. And this, you know, this, this privilege is the highest, even more higher than an administrator account, you know, in the Windows world, okay? So now let's go ahead and pop a shell. Let's open up shell and see if we can get into a C, yep, C Windows System 32, All right? Now if we do like an IP config, which is on the Windows box, we can see, <coughs> let's do host name. We can see the host name is legacy. The IP address is the 10.129.181.93, okay? So now what we have to do is find these crazy flags. Where are these flags at? So. Let's go ahead and give uh, the user flag first. So in Windows, you, we can use, instead of like cacnating it in, in Linux, we can use the command type. So we can just run this command right here. I want to go ahead and copy it because I have it here so I don't have to type it the whole thing. Okay, so what I'm doing is typing, type, and I want to go to the directory of documents and settings, John desktop user okay and here goes the flag for John okay let's copy this submit the flag and then I'll say it was a two in my opinion and boom it was accepted perfect now we have to do the same thing for flag number two this is a pretty easy box it's pretty much the same exact thing we hit the up oh, not the up arrow so let's just go ahead and just do the same thing we said to do to type. And instead of going into, let me paste it here. So instead of going into John, we're going to go into administrator because that's where the root flag is, right? And desktop in root.txt versus user.txt. Okay, so let's hit enter. 
and this is our second flag. So let's copy this guy, paste it in here, and we'll say another two, and we should be golden. And now it should be complete in a second. As you see there, our box has been completely pwned. You see that? So with that being said, this box is complete. So if you have any further questions, you can hit me up on the community. You can hit me up on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, however you guys reach out to me. So if this has been informative for you, I really appreciate it. And hopefully you guys like, subscribe, share with your friends. And until next time, have a good one. If I don't hear from anyone, have a happy holiday, happy new year, and all that good stuff. All right? Take care, guys. Enjoy.